Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, my name is David. I'm here once again with another helpful tip for Jan's Vista. Uh, hopefully this will be a easy, um, easy to understand tip. Uh, it's a problem or an issue that I've dealt with and actually I just recently came came about and that's kind of how these things develop. Um, I, I struggle with the problem and then I think, hey, I need to let people know about you know how to fix this or how to work through this problem. So we'll dive right into it and show you what's going on. Um, real kind of a simple fix, but it can be really frustrating if you don't know what the heck is going on. Um, so you got a cue list open here, all right? And you're working with this cue list and um, you're going through it and you're setting each scene. You know, you can see I've got white some white and green lights and each cue list is different uh, white and red and, and some blue and then some purple all right but the key thing i want to focus on right here is you have tabs here in the fixture chooser menu okay you've got live and list which is the name of this cue list the thing to remember about live is live is going to take precedent it's always gonna it's gonna rule over <laughs> everything if if you've told it if you've told your fixtures to do something in live they're gonna overrule what's going on in the queue or in that queue list that you've told it to do something so let me show you here what's what what, what might accidentally happen and it's happened to me here recently so if i tell these guys to be red and then i go to my queue list you notice they're staying red, even though you remember these cues had different colors on the back wall here. That's what that is there. Okay, so you're like, well, what the heck? You know, you just you just said it. You know, each cue that's supposed to be hot pink. That's supposed to be red. This one's supposed to be green. All right, so you're going through it, and you're thinking, okay, well, I should update my cue list. Okay, so fine. You grab your fixtures. Let's change the color. Bam. Okay, these are supposed to be red, or these are supposed to be blue, but they're not. They're red. So, let's just change it back to blue. Okay. Bam, blue. Play through. Those are supposed to be pink. They're not. They're red. So, make them hot pink. Play through. Red. So now we're going to get to that first cue right here, cue number two, where we edited, and we're going to play it, and we're going to see what the heck happened. That was supposed to be green. We just made that adjustment. We just made it green. Why is it not green? It's not green because it's receiving program here in live is live is is um is taking precedent and so no matter what you do in each queue in terms of changing the programming and this will affect any fixture it's going to listen to what it's being told to do in live so if you ever run into this situation where you see you know hey it's not accepting my cues it's not, or it's not accepting my my programming i'm telling it to be you know, purple, but when I come back around, it doesn't remember that it needs to be purple. Why is that? So check your live, and then check and see that these fixtures need to be cleared. Because if you clear them, what's going to do? It's going to go. It's going to go back to the program. It's going to. It's going to release or clear to this list. And so there it is. So now it's running this queue list like it should. And so what had happened was um, I was doing some editing and I was working over here in the live tab. I somehow got on the live tab and I made an adjustment. And I, for, for the life of me, I could not figure out why these fixtures were not updating to the programming. You know, why they weren't, why I wasn't saving my changes in the queue list. And it was because I had made the edit over here in live tab. So it's just something to think about, something to be mindful of and pay attention to. 
um, when working with Qlist.